Greetings Mac Warriors, this is Offshore HSO and welcome back again to another Mac Warrior Online video and it's been an entire 5 weeks since my last video and well, I'm happy to be back but unfortunately I'll only be home for a week and I'm going again for another week I'm hoping the job will be another 10 days then I'll come back with 4 weeks free time I actually expected myself to be free for entire two months, but that did not go as planned. Well, that's enough for myself. So while I've been away, PGI has released a new Mac. And don't worry, after this, I'll actually have a best loadout series for one of the Hellfire variants that I purchased recently. And I would say it's very fun, really, really, really fun loadout that you should try. Anyway, but before that, let's get back to this. Is this worth it? The undisputed champion in the Sphere collection. So this is, I believe it's a 60 ton Mac and it's medium. And looking at this, this is the Invictus, I believe it's the Hero Mac. And this is the special variant. Doesn't look really nice though. The designs, I'm not sure if the original actually looks like this. Uh, I didn't actually look look or maybe check out on it uh, of the design but it looks like they just put an arm and legs on a shuttle <laughs> so it looks really funny to me you know and the legs are quite straight i would have preferred backward legs but i know that may maybe the origin the design did not have that and this is a very funny design for from my point of view anyway so it's still in early adoption you got eight more days now let's before we make the decision on getting this let's just take a look at what they have to offer all right and like always they have the two, the two pack the standard pack and the collector's pack the hellfire i actually got the standard pack for the hellfire i wasn't interested in the heroes or the special variant uh, so uh, here standard pack $20 collectors pack $40 you get basically the same max as the standard from the collectors except that the collectors get a special variant of the 1N so it does come with 1N, 2N and 3N collector comes with, with the special variant again 1N with, uh, has the 30% CBL bonus standard gives you a 30 day premium time collectors give you a 60 uh, items for the cockpit standard gives you only one of each item and collectors give you three of each item which is always the same title badges one title one badge for standard two titles two bandages for the collectors and you can have the additional hero add-on which is another 15 dollars and another reinforcement add-ons that comes with the 1N2 and 1NB now looking at the 1N it might be just a different little different on hard points compared to the 1N possibly so it does cost you another $15 if you want all of them just go for the ultimate which is $70 alright let's see now so it's early adoption like always they give you a special standing copy items they don't show it until you actually get it uh, it comes with the, one of my favorite patterns, the Sherman, and the decals. Well, I mm, it looks plain, and I, I really don't know where to put this decal on a Mac. To tell you the truth, uh, and the pattern itself, although it's, it is my favorite pattern for all the Macs, but I don't see how this relates to Champion. I know, I, I mean, you should PGI. You know, you're making a lot of Macs. You're not making enough camo. I mean, I think most of you, I mean, a lot of people like camo, and that's where that you can, that people can spend their C bills in. Oh, I mean, sorry, not C bills, uh, MC bills. So, you know, the Mac credits, I would spend some money on different camo on different Mac actually. So, like 75 MC for one shot. So, I always buy the one shot because I don't, I don't actually want to buy entire variant using the same camo so you know i think pgi you should really design more patterns i mean more more camo for the for all the max they have anyway uh colors it does come with three uh colors uh, moose green yellow honey 
and haze blue and it always comes with the 6.5 million C bills. Now the most important parts, the max specs. So here is the Champion 1N which is also the special variant that only differ from uh, the 30% C bill bonus but they're basically the same. So they're all 16 ton max. The 1N comes with a 300 standard engine which will be changed to a 300 light engine later on in the future I guess. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do at least. And it does have a really good top speed at 81 kilometers per hour. It has a max engine rating of 360, so that's quite fast. It will go over 81, it will go over 90. Maybe it's it's, it, it has the potential of going uh, close to, or already surpassed 100 km per hour if you maxed out the engine. So that's a really good max. That has caught my interest now. Okay, uh, so armor Ferro Ferrobos, or I like to call it FF armor. 286 eternal structure standard uh, potential of having 10 heat sinks already in the mech no ECM no mass in all of the mechs right so let's look directly at the hard points we don't care about the weapons that already comes with the mech basically we're going to change it in the future so uh, the left oh that's a very strange place to put an AMS which is on its left arm that's strange and looks like there's uh, four well, I mean all of them actually have AMS on the left arm but so that's that's a, <laughs> a, a strange hard point to be placed on the left arm so the left also have two missile hard points two energy hard points the center has two energy hard points the right has two ballistic hard points now the question if you take out if, if it uses a standard engine you you it should be able to fit an ac20 on it um gas rifle or two uh dual uh rotary auto cannons you can put uh well i'm if this if you if you can i'm pretty sure you can fit it in if it were me I'll remove all this uh, here. I'll try to place an AC-20. Four medium lasers and two SRMs. Uh, having the auto cannon as our uh, main gun and having the missiles and the lasers, medium lasers for close, uh, basically they're all close range, but the secondary weapons. And I'll probably turn this to a brawler because why it does have the speed for it. I mean, you can put two um, SRM MMOs and about three or four ballistic if you can fit that in. It should do quite well. Having two uh, AC-20 MMOs is, uh, is, is, should be already enough. And it will be a really good brawling build. And if you can fit an MS there, why not just fit it in, you know? And that's what I would do with the Champion N1. Now the Champion N2, similar, except that it has a uh, standard armor instead of a fair armor. And it has one AMS, same on the left arm, three ballistic hard points, two energy, one missile, two energy. So uh, just so that I don't put it in the same bracket as the N1's loadout I mean I would try to put this I'll, 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 I'll focus I'll tell you I'll focus on the ballistic because it has three ballistics on here and the other one that has the most ballistic compared to this would be the 1NB what I would do is I will Put four medium lasers and fit in LBX tens, two LBX tens on the right torso, and that will be an interesting build. I mean, dual all uh, LBX tens would be would, would do quite nice on this mech to tell you the truth. But it has 60 tons, so it, it has a potential not to fit in because of the weight limit, though. 
but the LBX ammo does carry a lot. So I'll probably try to fit that LBX and see whatever lasers I can fit in in that energy hard points if possible. Four, if not two, but that, that depends on the weight itself. But I'll try that next time in the future. If I can't put the LBX 10, I'll probably go for the rotaries. Triple R, uh, triple rotary ARAC tools. Now, now Champion 3N. Uh, it comes with a 300XL engine, which you should get rid immediately, by the way. Uh, in this sphere, the the XL engine lose torso and you die. This mech is definitely going to be squishy, by the way, because of it fits 60 ton. I mean, the Hellfire should be a, a good example of it having the same kind of armor. So it has a bit less uh, armor than the 2N. A bit more, sorry, a bit more than the 2N, but a bit less than the 1N. A 268 FF armor. Uh, standard internal structure, 10 double heat sinks. So this comes with depth double heat sinks, and the 1 and the 2N comes with single heat sinks, which uh, we'll probably want to upgrade anyway in the 2N and the 1N. Now let's see here. Hard points. It has one energy hard points, one MS on the left arm, one missile, two energy on the left torso, two energy on the center torso, one on the uh, ballistics on the right torso, and one energy on the right arm. Now, I'll, if I get this 3N, I'll change that engine, of course, and I'll probably fit two. two E R large lasers or probably if I can fit four I'll probably fit four and put as much double heat sink as I can and put the best engine I can on this mech and that's how I'm gonna roll with this mech <laughs> with the 3N uh, I can just imagine that four if not we'll just fit three all in the left torso and the right torso and ignore the right arm anyway yeah, you only need three at most or you can fit three I'm not sure if you can fit the pulse, large pulse laser with this kind of tonnage, but it, it you can try it out. Now the reinforcement package, the two one, uh, sorry, the one N two. Now let's compare that to the one N. Everything's the same except that it has the double heat sinks instead of, instead of single. It has that same one MS on the torso. It has an extra energy hard point on the left torso. It has one ballistic instead of two compared to the one N. And it has the two energy hard points on the center. So it has, it's quite similar. It's just losing one of the ballistic hard points and it has an extra energy hard point. Hmm. What should you do with this mech basically? I'll probably go range and go for an AC-10 ER laser build for this. Simple build, good build. <laughs> now, we have the uh, Champion 1 and B. What's the difference? It's the same, only that it has endo steel and the double heat sink. So it's basically the same as the 1 and 2 build for the specs here, but they have a different uh, spec for the hard points itself. It, it does have that one AMS on the left arm again, but it has four energy hard points and four ballistic hard points. Now, it looks interesting, but I can't actually think of a build that I want to put in this mech. It does have an ER PPC and a gas rifle, but you know that has been nerfed and they can fire. They can't fire that, that at the same time anymore. How would you make use? of a 60 ton mech with 4 ballistic hard points. Very tricky. Um, I'll try dual ER PPCs, 2 medium lasers and 4 machine guns on this so that you no know, the lasers the two medium the two medium lasers and the machine guns is for close range and the dual ER PPC is for long range. I'm pretty sure you can fit that in because the ER uh, PPC takes three slots 
if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong. So it takes three, three, six, seven, eight. So it should be able to fit this in. It has a standard engine, so it should it should have the space to fit that in on that left torso and machine gun, no problem. And then fit as much uh, double heat sinks as you can into the mag, and that's what I will do for this build. Now the Invictus, the Hero Mag, XL engine, get rid of that. <laughs> it comes with light FF armor, and though still it has it has eleven double heat sinks. And it has the potential to fit jump jets compared to the other mechs. They have no jump jets, but only the Invictus have jump jets. So it has one energy hard point, one missile, one AMS, two missiles, hard points, one on each left and right torso. It does not have that center torso uh, laser hard points, and it has one energy hard points on the right, and another missile hard points on the left. So. Each arm are uh, identical, the left and right torso is identical. So this is basically a missile boat. You can actually go from a uh, missile boat right here. So it has it has the maneuverability, you know, but it, it probably won't be able to carry a lot of missile ammo. Uh, probably be enough anyway. So uh, I would either turn this to a missile boat or I'll turn it to a brawling bill and put in six, three. Four, six SRMs on this, and fit as much e lasers, what medium or the ER small lasers on this mech, and turn this to a brawler. Now, let's look at the well here. Let's look at the the mech design here. So the legs are definitely. Uh, problem here it, it's, it's going to be a really tall mech although it has a low profile body the legs are extending out and it, it will extend out and it, it will turn that into a big target but it has this huge arm protecting protecting the left and right torso so the arms here are quite big it protects that and possibly the arms will be the first one to go if you're protecting and you're twisting your torso protecting yourself I mean it means and your legs are quite a big target. Well, that depends on the size of the mech later on, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the, the size of... Um, let's see... A hunch, hunchback with a lower body, maybe? It'll be a bit lower than that, I believe. Or probably the same height. Because you see the body. It has, it, it, this is a problem here. You can't... It's not really good uh, poke. Pick and poke. Because of this area here. The guns are a bit lower, just below the cockpit. So, you probably can peek, but you probably won't sh be able to shoot the thing that you see when you peek exactly. Your body have to actually go up a little bit higher from that peeking point and fire. Because the ER lasers here and here. Probably this will, will not will hit the ground if you try to alpha shot in that kind of position. So, I believe this will be the torso. Right here, center, leg, legs, and arms. Very, fairly simple. Ah. But I gotta say, it's an ugly mech. <laughs> you might not uh, agree with me, but uh, that's just my uh, two cents on the design as, on, on itself. Um, now, the main question, is it worth it? On the design itself, I don't like the mech, but who, like, you know, that depends on you. Uh, hard points, hard points, hard points, hard points. I am interested in the one N. I mean, if you are interested in the one N, the probably the, the hero mech. The Evictus. Mm. Let's see. It's, it's pretty hard to see which kind of mech I'll be interested in. I am interested in the Hero mech though. Because of the four missile hard points that it has. And then reinforcement the 1NB with the four ballistics on the left. 
I mean that that has the potential of uh, carrying a lot of uh, good ballistic weapons like range, uh, dual AC tens, dual Ace LBX tens. And you maybe maybe you can just sacrifice everything and try to fit four uh, RACs. I don't I'm not sure if you, you can do that, but it's a it it is a thought that you probably want to put some thought into it. I would say I'm interested in the two N the 1 and B and the Invictus if I wanted the hero mech and the reinforcement mech uh, package uh, the add-on with it I would get the collectors or I'll go for the standard and then I'll add on the hero and the uh, reinforcement uh, but if you go for that I mean 20 30 50 50 50 dollars plus Another 20 will be 70. I would go for... Personally, me personally. I would go for the standard package. And then go for the hero and the reinforcement. If you have that extra dollar. So that's my two cents on it. Whether you agree or not. No, let me know in the comment if you agree. Uh, but... I, I, I do like the hard points on that hero and and it has the potential of going more than 81 kilometers per hour so that piqued my interest the only thing I wish that you know the 300 XL engine I would probably sell that off because no light mech can actually use the 300 XL engine 180 maybe but not the 300 XL engine but that 300 XL engine can be sold at a really good price a few millions for two, two million maybe one million can get, get pretty good uh, money for it. Basically, since the light light engine was introduced, the XL engines are obsolete. Unless they're in the light mix. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you found this video informative. And stay tuned. Um, I, I am going to make another video right after this video. The Hellfire. Best loadout. And very fun loadout, I might add. So, see you guys next time, guys. Eh? Hope you enjoy it again. Off show out.